Welcome back to my channel. In this tutorial, I will be showing you how to create a rating bar in your Flutter application. Rating bar mainly used to collect satisfaction level from the user. In this tutorial, we will be using this rating bar package which you can find in pub.dev. Next, go to installing and get the latest dependency version and add it to the Flutter project. To prevent any version conflict, make sure you are using the same environment SDK as mine. So here in the Flutter project, I have created a very simple Flutter application that only have an app bar and a container as shown in the simulator. Now we will start creating the rating bar widget. We can use rating bar dot builder and it takes two required argument which is item builder and on rating update which is a function and this function will return the rating value that is rated and for the item builder it will return the widget for the rating bar so here i will return with a star icon This rating bar package actually provides lots of customization such as we can set the initial rating to a different value than zero. Not only that, we can also set the minimum rating value, the direction of the rating bar and if half rating is allowed. By default, the rating bar count is set to 5. If you like to have more than 5 count, you can change the item count value. You can also add padding between each item. And lastly, for the on rating update function, we will just print out the return rating value. Now let's hot restart the application and see how it looks. So this is the rating bar that we have created. To make it looks better, we will add a color to the icon. And now it looks much better as a rating bar. And as you can see by default, three star icon is filled. It's because we set three in our initial rating value. Now let's set it back to zero. Now let's start rating. As you can see, we can drag the rating bar and it will fill up according to the icon that we drag to. And in the terminal, you can see the value that we selected is printed out. One of the major attractive of this package is that it supports a smooth drag motion from front to back and vice versa. And we are still able to get the final rating value by the user even though with drag motion. And this is how we create a simple rating bar with same icon in Flutter. Next, I will be showing you how to create a rating bar with different icons for each item. So to do that, we need to get the index of each item. And here, instead of returning an icon widget, we will use a switch case and according to different index, we will return different icon. Zero index starts from left, so it should be the lowest rating value. So for index zero, I will return a dissatisfied icon. To make the rating bar looks better, I will add a different color for each item. Next, I will replicate the return widgets for the remaining indexes. And according to different index, I will change the icon return and also the color for the icon.
And most importantly, don't forget to add a default return value. And here I will just return a simple text widget. So now we have customized a rating bar to display different icons according to the count index. Now let's hot restart the Flutter application and see how it looks. As you can see in the simulator, this is the rating bar that we customized. As you can see, when we drag the rating bar, the color of the icon change to each respective color that we provided. Not only you can drag the rating bar, if you prefer to click, it works as well. And this is how you create a customized rating bar in Flutter. Here comes to the end of the tutorial. If you like my video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. See you in the next tutorial.